Hey guys and welcome to my Elite Licht Guide. So today we need a couple of monkey knowledge because tier 1 is really really hard. Tier 2, 3, 4 and 5 are really easy but tier 1 is extremely hard because the map is also Polyphemus which is one of the worst maps in my opinion for bosses. We have to use a couple of monkey knowledge points. If you don't have all monkey knowledge points don't worry you can use one or two cash drops at the beginning to snowball. Place down your free dart monkey but don't place down Geraldo in round 1 because you want to place him down in round 2. Place on Geraldo's NFT in round 7 and place down a sub after. If you don't have the monkey knowledge that your hero is starting with level 3, you can place down Geraldo in round 1 if you use the cash drop and place down his NFT as fast as possible. Place on your first farm and as always upgrade your first farm to increased and greater production. For extra popping power, place down a wizard monkey and upgrade your wizard monkey to fireball and wall of fire and also intense magic. Keep placing down more and more farms. In round 30, place down your second wizard monkey and upgrade it to fireball. At the start of round 31, sell your NFT, get yourself a 002 discount village and start upgrading your farms to marketplaces. Upgrade your second wizard monkey to wall of fire and intense magic. You can upgrade one of your wizard monkeys to camo vision or give him Geraldo's potion. At this point you can keep focusing on farming so make sure to place down as many 203 marketplaces as possible. Alright, we are at tier 1 and as I mentioned before, tier 1 is by far the hardest tier, so make sure to follow everything I do. Today we have to use a secret strategy to make the boss a little bit easier. So every time we are going up a round, so for example to round 41 or 42, you have to escape and rejoin the game. By doing this you are skipping some of the chained mobs, which makes tier 1 way 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 easier.
Alright, nice. Hardest part done. So after tier 1, it's basically the same as always. We are going for a Monkeyopolis and now we are going for defense. The only hard time you may have is around 45 and 46 because we are getting another chain more up here. So make sure to be ready to use some of Gary's items. As you guys can see, my damage wasn't quite enough in round 46, so I had to use one of the Bladestorm abilities. Now keep building boats until you have 18 or 19 boats in total. Upgrade one of your boats to favor trade and to trade empire and hotshots. Now keep building boats until you have 20 boats in total. At this point, make sure to place down as many central mark places as possible until around 58. Get yourself one more favorite trade boat so all of your boats are in range of favorite trade boats and now wait until tier 2. Against tier 2 we are using an MAD again and we are also going for a tier 5 carrier flagship. And guys make sure to sell your alchemist because I forgot to sell mine which wasn't a big deal but it's easier if you sell your alchemist. After tier 2 you can just copy my setup and sell your MAD and go for 10 central mark places and upgrade all of your boats to favor trades. At this point keep building 003 boats until the whole map is full. After placing down as many 003 boats as possible, you can now sell all of your alchemists and go for a wizard lord phoenix. Upgrade all of your boats to favor trade. 
For tier 3, you just need to get a Ninja Paragon, so make sure to get a degree 20 Ninja Paragon by placing down 25 202 Ninjas. You can also spend all of your money into your slider to get a higher degree Paragon. Forty-four. Just go for a wizard paragon and spend all of your money into your wizard paragon and into the slider. In 45, you can just get the highest possible Bolt Paragon. You can also add a couple of other towers like Ray of Doom and MAD, but it's not necessary. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope this guide helped you. If it did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe and using my creator code in the BTD6 and Battles 2 store. Have a very great weekend, I see you guys very soon for the rank guide, bye.